and here with us this morning in this gorgeous sunshine at this magnificent courtyard is Mark Matson. Mark, welcome to the show. Good morning, Rich. Good morning. Okay, since this is a real estate show, we've sort of retooled our format to start off by having you uh, showcase uh, four or five properties awesome. that are uh, for sale by owners. Do that, and then we're going to talk about all these websites. Okay, great. Go. Let's talk about our first property. Our first property is centrally located near Buffalo and Sahara. This elegant 4,000 square foot home has five bedrooms with an office, four full baths, and sits on just over half of an acre lot inside of a cul-de-sac. Entering through the double front doors, you are greeted by a beautiful circular staircase, crystal chandelier, and travertine floor entry. This spacious home floor plan is highlighted by several picture frame wall cutouts, artistic architectural designs, and custom wood built-ins. Some of the inside upgraded features include an alarm, intercom system, central vac, three fireplaces, new stainless steel kitchen appliances, granite countertops and kitchen island, mirrored closet doors, extra large bedrooms with balconies, shutters, fresh paint inside and out, a his and her walk-in closet in the master bedroom, and a separate jacuzzi tub. Outside you can relax in the oversized swimming pool which also has a diving board and a hot tub. The quiet backyard has plenty of room for entertaining and is surrounded with massive palm trees and beautiful mature landscaping. For more information, please check out our virtual tour online or contact us at 496-5626. Moving to our next property, which is located near the eastern mountains of the Las Vegas Valley. This beautiful former model is 3,467 square feet and sits on just over a third of an acre lot. With three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and a separate office with its own private marble entry, there's no question that the new owners will be living in complete luxury. To name a few of the impressive features in the kitchen, there are custom cabinets, granite counters and center island, a desk, a bar for entertaining, and the breakfast room even has a window seat. Meet with your guests in the formal living room under the vaulted ceilings highlighted by the two-way fireplace or serve a gourmet meal in the formal dining room. Comfort and space come to mind when I mention the huge family room with a cozy two-way fireplace or the loft which has a built-in entertainment center and full strip views. Up either of the two staircases, you can retreat to the master bedroom and admire the city strip views from the balcony. The master bedroom also features his and her custom closets, a glass block circular shower, and separate tub. The backyard is designed for entertaining with a raised patio, gas barbecue, and large fountain. There's plenty of room in the extended two-car garage as well. Since this house is secure inside of a gated community, I would encourage you to call us today and schedule a private viewing of this first-class property that is listed at $558,000. Our next for sale by owner property is located on the south side of town near St. Rose Parkway in South Bermuda. Listed at $490,000, this 3,533 square foot two-story home has four bedrooms, four baths, and a three-car garage. This home is in immaculate condition with custom plantation shutters, nine-foot ceilings, two master bedrooms, an oversized lot, custom cherry wood cabinets, granite counters, a kitchen island, a breakfast nook, an alarm system, and mature landscaping. For more information, please check out our virtual tour at www.thehousedetective.com or call me for a private viewing at 496-5626. Our final property is located in Mesquite, Nevada. Listed at $896,000, this four bedroom, four bath cul-de-sac home is 3,920 square feet and sits on just over a half of an acre lot. Built in 2002, high above the fourth green on the Canyons Golf Course, you can enjoy beautiful panoramic views of the Virgin Mountains and city lights. Some of the exciting features and amenities included are a gourmet kitchen with granite counters, maple cabinets, travertine floors, an open floor plan, huge three-car garage. The master bathroom has sliding doors to the outside balcony which overlooks the golf course and mountains. In the master bath you can enjoy the jacuzzi tub, walk-in shower, granite counters, a his and her walk-in closet, and a separate vanity. This is truly an amazing home and I encourage you to call me for more information or check out the complete virtual tour at www.thehousedetective.com. Okay, uh, one minor change. Yes, sir. The website is thehousedetective.tv. Other thousedetective than that, not a problem. So uh, 
if you go to the other website, I don't know what's on that, but we're going to have that name in the not too distant future. Or they future. can check out our website, <laughs> FizzBowenClarkCounty.com. Okay, you have a website, in Clark County. You are probably one of the top specialists when it comes to marketing for sale by owners, and hence our website that everything is placed on, and your in, in Clark County com. Exactly how does your company work, and what do you do to, uh, to help market properties? We specialize in helping homeowners list their house by owner. There's two reasons why a seller would list their house by owner. Number one is they would like to save on equity. There's, they either want to save on the equity or there may not be enough equity in the property to pay the high real estate commissions. The second reason sellers go by owner is because they want to control the transaction. They've either you know, bought or sold several homes in the past or they just feel very comfortable marketing and, and going through the transaction details. So we assist them with putting together the network of professionals who can help them with that transaction. And more importantly, we help them out with their marketing aspect. We give them all the tools that they would need to give their home massive exposure and strategically you know, find the buyers that they're looking for, and we give them control. Okay, everyone knows, and we don't have any secrets on this show, we have probably been the most honest and upfront when talking about the real estate of market. But it seems like all of the attention is going to the uh, the foreclosed homes, which is causing a problem in the for sale by owner market. It would, it would seem to me that uh, they're not selling as quickly as they should, but that's because people are not being aggressive in the marketing. Is that not the case? That's a good point. I'm happy you brought that up. When you buy somebody's house for sale by owner, you're dealing directly with the seller. You and the seller sit across a table and negotiate on the terms that you know, best fit each other's needs. When you buy a bank-owned property or a foreclosed property, you're walking into a property that will probably need some upgrades, not in all cases, but in most instances. You're having to put in multiple offers on each property because of the way that they're priced. You're dealing with you know, several other bidders on that property. And there's other issues. So if you're an investor looking to buy um, at a good price, your bank-owned property might be a good avenue for you to go through. But it's a very long process to try to get into a property of your dreams. For a sell by owner, you can go and drive the neighborhood. You can find the house that you want to live in online and deal directly with the seller. So it gives you more control. It just depends if you're looking for a home to live in with your family or if you're looking for an investment. It depends on your strategy as a buyer. You um, talk to a person who sells traditional real estate. Now, there are people who are making their monthly payments and are looking to buy a home and are right. not caught up in this subprime mess that we're in. A, a, a professional realtor, one of their good jobs is being able to help the uh, seller put their home at a price that they feel will sell faster than if they don't do that. Not right. that the house is not worth it. And one of the things that a, a traditional uh, resale home is uh, pricing the home uh, so that they can find more buyers for it as opposed right. to what the buyer, what the seller wants to get out of it. Where and how do you come in when you talk to a, a, a for sale by owner? They've already got the established price. Is that not correct? Most of the times our sellers know a price in their own mind of what they want to get from their property. And, but but or they know the price that they want. And then that's the price that you will put on your various websites and on the housedetective.tv? Well, we'll run a comparable market analysis. You will? Okay. That's we'll what We'll actually do the at. research and find out what the houses are selling for in the neighborhood, what their, uh, the houses are listed at in the neighborhood, where they're moving. I mean, if somebody asks me, what do I have to price my home to sell it today, I can give them that info. Or somebody may ask, you know, you know based on, on your opinion of the market, where is a good place for me to price my home? And those are two very touchy things because some people may not need to sell tomorrow but they might want to sell, so they give us that those instructions up front. And yes, price does move properties. 